Do you think a little sugar won't hurt? Think again. Within minutes of consumption, your body sounds a biological alarm and it's not just about calories. It's about a cascade of chain reactions involving your brain, pancreas, liver, kidneys, and beyond. Today's video is titled, What Happens to Your Organs When You Eat Too Much Sugar? Science Explained This isn't a scare tactic, it's clarity. When you understand the exact path sugar takes through your system, you'll never eat blindly again. Once you realize what's happening silently in your liver, your blood vessels, and even your brain cells after one soda, you'll never look at sugar the same way again. In this video, you'll uncover why sugar creates cravings like a real addiction, how it doesn't just cause fat gain, but sabotages your memory and immune system, and how your body can begin miraculous repair just days after quitting sugar. If you care about your energy, brain power, and longevity, don't miss a second. Hit subscribe and watch till the end to unlock what your body has been trying to tell you all along. The moment you bite into something sweet, your biology lights up like a fireworks show. First up, the enzyme amylase in your saliva begins breaking down starch into simpler sugars. But when it comes to refined sugars like glucose or sucrose, your body doesn't even wait for the small intestine. Some of it is absorbed directly through the mucous membranes of your mouth. It's like sending an instant sugar incoming alert to your brain and pancreas. As you swallow, sugar zips down the esophagus into the stomach. But here's the twist. Your stomach doesn't actually digest sugar. There are no specialized enzymes for glucose or fructose here, so these sugars slip straight into the small intestine like VIP guests. Once in the small intestine, specifically the jejunum sugar absorption happens at warp speed. Glucose and fructose pass through the intestinal walls via active transport and facilitated diffusion. If you just ate a donut containing 30 grams of sugar, Almost all of it will enter your bloodstream within minutes, especially if it's not paired with fiber or protein to slow it down. This sudden sugar rush doesn't go unnoticed. You might feel alert, maybe even a little euphoric, thanks to a spike in dopamine. But at the same time, your pancreas kicks into emergency mode, flooding your body with insulin to move the sugar into cells or store it as fat. And this is just the beginning. It may seem harmless, a sweet drink, a slice of cake, but sugar is the trigger for a complex biological domino effect. Let's trace it from the inside out. 1. Pancreas. The insulin war room. When sugar floods the blood, your pancreas rings the alarm. Send insulin. This hormone is the molecular key that opens cells to absorb glucose. But with constant sugar attacks, the pancreas must overwork, secreting insulin non-stop. Eventually, cells stop listening a condition known as insulin resistance. This is the slippery slope to type 2 diabetes, where the pancreas is so overworked it starts to burn out. 2. Liver. The silent fructose crisis. Unlike glucose, fructose found in soda and sweets is processed only by the liver. When fructose overwhelms its capacity, the liver turns it into visceral fat wrapping around organs and causing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. This condition leads to chronic inflammation, fibrosis, and even cirrhosis. Worse yet, fatty liver contributes to insulin resistance, creating a metabolic loop of dysfunction. 3. Brain. The dopamine trap. Sugar spikes dopamine, your brain's pleasure signal. That cupcake high? It's real, but the crash comes fast. Over time, your brain craves more sugar just to feel normal welcome to the addiction loop. The long-term toll? Impaired memory, focus, and higher risk of depression and anxiety. The sugar high slowly rewires the brain for dependence. 4. Blood vessels. The sugar rust. Sugar bonds with proteins to form AGEs, compounds that stiffen your blood vessels. This process, glycation, destroys collagen and elasticity, leading to hypertension, atherosclerosis, and strokes. And the damage is stealthy. You feel nothing, while your arteries slowly corrode from the inside. Woo! Kidneys, filtering in a sea of inflammation. High sugar damages nephrons, the microscopic filters in your kidneys. Think of sugar like dumping sludge into a coffee filter clogging and pressurizing until function fails. Early signs include protein in the urine, 
kidney stones, and rising blood pressure. Chronic overload may lead to kidney disease without early symptoms. Lou. Immune system. Disabled in 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes of a sugary drink, your immune cell efficiency drops by up to 40%. Sugar impairs phagocytosis, weakens gut bacteria balance, and creates chronic inflammation. End result? A sluggish, confused immune system and more sick days at the worst times. Sugar doesn't just taste sweet. It starts a biochemical storm across your entire system. Each spoonful is a signal inflammation or healing. Which one will you choose? Your body doesn't hate sugar, it only hates excess. Imagine each organ is a team player. Pancreas is the goalie, liver is defense, brain the coach, kidneys the backline, blood vessels the shield, and your immune system the cheer squad. Now toss too much sugar into the game, and suddenly everyone's sprinting, sweating, and out of sync. One slice of cake blood glucose spikes, insulin surges cells fill up leftover glucose turns to fat visceral fat releases, cytokines chronic inflammation, blood vessels rupture, liver overloads, brain fogs, kidneys weaken, and immunity plummets. That's the metabolic domino effect. Everything collapses from repeated small doses of sugar. Science calls this chronic metabolic syndrome a state where the body loses control over its energy systems, trapped in a cycle of fat storage, inflammation, hormone disruption, and fatigue. But here's the good news. You can interrupt the domino chain. Pause the sugar and the body resets. Insulin lowers. The liver recovers. The brain recalibrates. Kidneys clean up. Immunity returns. And it all starts with one simple shift. Understanding sugar, choosing wisely, and knowing when to stop. Just a few days of cutting back on sugar and your body starts performing miracles from within. Insulin tones down the red alert. Your liver finally gets a vacation. Your brain switches into focus mode. And your kidneys quietly thank you for not making them filter syrup anymore. The best part? You don't have to completely ditch sugar forever. You just need to understand what your body is saying each time you eat and respond with awareness. Because sugar itself isn't the villain mindless sugar is. Start with the basics. Drink water before sweet snacks. Pair sugar with fiber or healthy fats to slow glucose spikes. Space out meals to give insulin a break. And if you're going for chocolate, pick dark, not dangerously sweet. And remember, every bite is a message, heal or harm. So let your next meal be a love letter to the biology that's always working to keep you alive.